Sankofa bird, a West African symbol, represents a bird flying forward but looking backwards with an egg in its mouth. The symbol literally means reach back and get it. The egg signifies the future and the gems of knowledge and wisdom. The future needs those, need those gems of knowledge and that wisdom. The Sankofa bird is also often associated with an African parab parab proverb I'm sorry, that says, go back and get that which you have forgotten, because it is not wrong for you to go back and get that which you have forgotten. So what the Sankofa bird teaches us is that our past is important, and that it is important for us to reach and look back towards our past, or at least not to forget our past. Or as my mother used to say, don't forget where you came from. <laughs> Sankofa, sand, to reach, ko, to go, fa, to look, to seek, and to take. This is a story of mud, of rising from the mud, of embracing the mud, of learning from all that the mud has to offer. You see, I was made of the dirt, the dust of the earth, and breathed life and became a living being, a poor girl from a poor family a colored girl who did not understand what it meant to either be colored or poor. In fact, as a child, I recall loving to make mud pies because dirt plus water equals mud. These were my toys and the patience that it takes to get just the right composition of water and dirt and to mix them together into perfectly round and formed patties, and then to have the patience as a child to watch the labor of my work dry into these perfect mud pies. But I also recall wanting a book to read and having none, only having the labels of canned goods to help me to learn to read and write. And then, and then, I discovered Julia. You see, Julia, for those of you who may be too young to know Julia or too old to remember, was an African-American sitcom that occurred between 1968 and 1971. Julia was a nurse. Julia was a beautiful, African-American nurse. She was not a servant or a domestic, which were the roles that were usually portrayed by people of color during those times. She helped, but she was not the help. And it was at that time that my passion became ablaze and my passion developed passion and my goals developed goals and every goal was toward becoming a nurse like Julia. I prepared a little clip just to demonstrate to you the impact that Julia had on my life. Out here tomorrow morning, I'd like to get a look at you. Yes, doctor. What time would be convenient? Be here at 9. And make yourself as handsome as you can manage. I'm tired of looking at ugly nurses. I married one. I'll do my best, sir. But has Mr. Colton told you? Tell me what? I'm colored. What color are you? I'm a Negro. Have you always been a Negro? You're just trying to be fashionable. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Try and be pretty. So, Julia was a nurse, but she was also colored, and she was pretty. And I figured I was colored and pretty, so I was two-thirds of the way there. <laughs>
Kofa, Ko, to go. As I look back, when I became a nurse, I realized that Julia really didn't do any nursing care. <laughs> the show was really just about her life and the issues at the time. She was a single African-American mother with a young son. And there were many social issues occurring in our country at that time. And that is what the show was about. But she happened to be a nurse. And I have often wondered if Julia had been a chemist or an engineer or something else, would that have kindled my flame to become a nurse? But it was at that point, at nine years old, that my heart, in my heart, I became a nurse. And now I realize that I have achieved so much more than even Julia, a nurse, a nurse practitioner, a nurse with a doctoral degree, a professor, a researcher, a president of an organization, and a leader. But still, I look back as a child of the mud and realize that I am still colored, still black, still African American, if you prefer and still rising from the mud. As another look back, I recall in high school, I studied Latin. Yes, three years of Latin. Why Latin? Because someone told me that if you wanted to get into nursing or medicine, it was good to study Latin. And that was all I needed. But being in Latin class, I often felt isolated. I was invisible as the only African-American black colored girl in class. Invisible. Except in those times, it was not good for people like me to shine. And it certainly was not good to outshine. But outshine, I did, but silently and privately known only to me and my teacher at the time, Judy Owens, who saw in me even more than I could have imagined. And she is probably the, mo the second most influential person in influencing me to become who I am today. She didn't just see a nurse, but she saw a leader. And she gave me at graduation a t-shirt that had these words, Dux Femina Bhakti. She saw Dux Femina Bhakti, and I still have that t-shirt. I can't fit it, but I still have it. <laughs> Dux Femina Bhakti, which means a woman was the leader of the deed. She was the first person to recognize the leader in me and to call me a leader. So then, what does Sankofa, Mud, Julia, and Judy have to do with anything? Sankofa teaches us to look back, to embrace our past, to gather all that is good and bring it forward. So even if you are from the mud, find the inspiration and direction that you need from the mud. I have come to realize, actually I had a revelation real, recently, that mud is a good thing. People build structures out of mud. They make bricks out of mud. Mud is strong and powerful. Mud can be like a glue. When I was growing up as a child, we had an old, old, old house. And in the back, between the slats, there was mud. That mud held the house together, but not only that, but not only that, but it provided protection. So if you are from the mud, then embrace the mud. In terms of Julia, Julia was not real. Julia was a fictitious character played by Diane Carroll. But yet she had a profound impact on my life and my future. If there is something really intriguing about someone playing a nurse, influencing someone to become a nurse. Judy, however, was very much real. And she saw in me Dux Femina Fakti. 
She helped me to overcome the disability of invisibility, and no more will I deny my achievements or accomplishments to make others feel okay. So as we go forth, regardless of our situations, our circumstances, our lot in life, what we have and what we do not have, we all must embrace our past. Embrace that which we have. Somebody is looking at you. There is some young person, some child, maybe even some older person that's somewhere out there who's looking at you and needs you to help to pull them up out of their own mud. It's okay for you to look back. It's okay for you to take. But ultimately, you need to give to the next generation. Sankofa. Thank you.